So when my parents bought this dome, they had no idea what to do with it. It's not finished, it's not done correctly. It's got a lot of stuff that would need to be done to it. So we made a lot of jokes about it becoming a chicken coop. And yes, you guys hated every second of me suggesting that. Uh, I got a lot of people just saying, that's the dumbest idea I ever heard. Well, let me tell you this. We're actually thinking now. So as you can see, we are not at the city stead anymore, Toto. In fact, we are at the monolithic dome property. Why would I be over here? Well, it's early February and I had looked at the weather and I noticed something. That's right, I noticed the weather was going to be incredibly nice outside. It looked like we were going to have a really, really nice week. A couple of days where we reached into 40 during the daytime temperatures. Now this is important because when we get toward February, we're actually coming upon maple syrup in season. If you don't remember, last year my mom and dad kind of got into maple syrup and we tried to help out the best we can with whatever time we had. Contributing to tapping trees, collecting sap, and doing a little bit of collective uh, hanging out as a boil was going on. Well that warmer weather is like a calling. A calling out to these woods where we can find ourselves a bunch of maple trees. Now when I was a kid growing up with my brothers, we used to love to come play in the woods and hang out, and build forts and hideouts, and we could spend hours and hours just hanging out in the woods. And I found that as I got older, and the older and older I got, the less and less I got to play in the woods. Some of it's growing up having extra responsibilities, it makes it harder to go out and do something that is just, you know, wander in the woods. <laughs> but what I found was, when my parents said that they are gonna start maple syrup, and it was already something that I really was interested in trying to figure out and learn. But then it was also a really good way to get back out into the woods and wander around and play like I did in my younger days. One of the biggest differences between now and my younger days growing up is that our woods were a lot smaller and often the woods that we played in were not our own. Now, my parents have all of this, 85 acres, and a lot of it is very wooded. One of the really cool things was seeing my kids come out and play in these woods last year, running around, making trails, just hiking through the woods and really uh, just falling in love with it. I could see in them what I remember as a kid, what it was like to come wander around some woods. So when we were kids, we wandered around looking for all sorts of things in the woods. We would look for animals and lizards and frogs and turtles and broken trees that we could drag around to make forts. But nowadays when I walk through the woods, I look for a specific thing, and that is maple trees. Why do we look for these maple trees? Because now that I'm older and I understand some different things about life and have some different values, I realize that this tree is super valuable for the sweet, sweet sap that rolls out of it. And these woods out here, so full of maple trees, they're all over the place. Last year, I think my parents and I tapped around 30 or 40 trees and there's more out here that we just haven't tagged yet for the tapping. So we didn't have a very wintry winter this year. We didn't get a ton of snow. It wasn't super freezing cold. But still, I was anticipating summer and spring and looking forward to starting seeds and getting my garden going and planting fruit trees that I almost kind of overlooked uh, syrup in season. So this is a very important season for us actually. This is like one of the official starts of all that is preserving and growing food for the upcoming year. It all happens right now, right around February. Now this week is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be just above freezing during the day, but below freezing at night. Now, it's only gonna last a few more days, and then it looks like it's gonna be below freezing even during daytime hours. 
which means that we won't be doing our syruping this very week. We won't be tapping yet, but it is right around the corner, which means we gotta start getting ready. Everybody say hi to my ma. She's the hi. backbone of all maple syrup making. So last year's maple sugar and season was very successful for my parents. They got to sell a lot of it. They got enough for themselves. We had a few bottles to serve ourselves. I am beyond excited for what could be this year. And I'm hoping that with the current schedule I have had going on, it actually allows me more time to help them offer more of my support to them for what they're doing here. You might remember that last year, my dad built a cinder block evaporator and it worked very well for what he was doing, but he really wanted to up his game, which means he went out and bought an arch. Now, if you're not familiar with an arch, it is uh, basically a metal form of an evaporator. It's a very large cavity. It is metal. You can put the fire bricks in it. You can build a big fire in it and push it out. Now, we hauled this home last year. You guys remember, I posted a video about it. Me, my dad, and my cousin lifted up this ginormous, heavy pig of an, of an arch, and we moved it, put it into the shed over there. And the whole idea was my dad really wanted to build a sugar shack. Now, ideally, that sugar shack would be right behind me here next to that other shed where the arch currently sits. But as you can see, there is no sugar shack there yet. We didn't get to it. So. My dad and I were actually discussing and tossed out a different idea for this year. And I could tell that we were both thinking the same thing, which was kind of funny because it really made me think about how much hate you guys are going to give me about this one. So when my parents bought this dome, they had no idea what to do with it. It's not finished. It's not done correctly. It's got a lot of stuff that would need to be done to it. So we made a lot of jokes about it becoming a chicken coop. And yes, you guys hated every second of me suggesting that. Uh, I got a lot of people just saying, that's the dumbest idea I ever heard. Well, let me tell you this. We're actually thinking now, this might be better served as a sugar shack. But come on, it's a pretty good idea. Now for them to try to finish this out and redo it and get a lot of this stuff corrected that would need to be corrected to actually make this a livable home, it would cost them a small fortune. Uh, they could build something just as strong because we're in Michigan, all right? I know it's really good against tornadoes and hurricanes. We're in Michigan. We don't get those. We're actually one of the safest states to live in. And we're surrounded by fresh water. But remember this window that busted out? He had to put this board on it. Something broke. We don't know what it was. But we're thinking, what if we put that arch right here? vented it out there and use this as a sugar shack at least for one year i think it would make a pretty sweet sugar shack now i know i can practically hear you guys firing away on those keyboards with all of your hate and all of your disappointment that we would think of this ideal for this dome but look at it we got dirt floors we got really rough inside walls you want to know something else this thing actually leaks a slight bit that's how undone it actually is they didn't even finish it correctly enough that it was waterproof in this dome think about the amount of money that would have to be sunk into this thing to make it a livable home as opposed to my parents building a tiny home or just a smaller house for themselves since nobody's gonna be here other than them I gotta tell you, I'm so excited about maple syrup season this year. I really hope that I can be a lot more involved in it this year. I get a little bit more time. And also, I'm just still, beautiful day like this, it's good to come out here and look at the lay of this land and dream about what we could possibly be starting over here, hopefully soon in the future. So I'm really looking forward to trying to save up some more money so we can actually start that food forest I really dream of over here. I think it would be awesome. It would help them with their beekeeping. You can see back there. And when our hive starts to get going, when we got to split them and all that, I'm not going to have room to do it there at my place. So probably bring them over here and contribute what we can over here also. So we can have a whole lot of stuff going on. Maple syrup, honey, all sorts of fruit. Because this this really could be a place that we expand more beyond just our city set and do more things and learn more skills like this maple syrup in. 
All right, how many of you guys are super excited about maple syrup season? Uh, it's like the official kickstart to our, yeah, I don't know what you call it, homesteading season? I really don't know what you call it, but it is the first official thing we get to do. And right after that, we'll be going into getting our asparagus. Oh, and then it just goes on and on and on until we hit that dreaded snowfall again. <laughs> but while we got this beautiful weather, we'll enjoy these few days ride out the next couple of weeks and then we will get into sugar and if you guys are interested in maple syrup and stick around because in a few weeks we'll be out here tapping trees bringing you more vlogs out in the beautiful wilderness of my parents monolithic dome the backwoods farm all right well i gotta go lock everything up close everything down so as always guys be bold grow bold i'll see you guys in the next one P.S. Don't forget to leave all your hate comments down below. Sugar Shack for the dome or no?